I started cycling without knowing what the pros did. I started cycling for a love of riding a bike. I can remember the race that got me kind of hooked on racing, you know? It's what I wanted to do. And that was when I seen Paddy Roubaix, when Sebastian Carnarvon won. Ciao, Marke. Ciao, Fabio. Ciao, Marke. Yeah. Bene. Bene. I remember it was just raining, and they were filthy, and guys were crashing, and uh, Carnarvon went fair distance from the finish. Yeah, he just had this low position, never out his drops. And uh, he came into the velodrome and he rubbed, he rubbed his jersey to had to display the sponsor, which is my team now, you know. Um, it was an ethics quick step then, but it's still quick step. And, uh, and he won and yeah, it was, that was pretty cool. From then I was like, I want to be a classics rider. I can win Roubaix one day. But I really believe it, it's a race that I still kind of dream of. There's only ever been one rider that when I was riding, I imagined I was them, and that was Johan Museu. And if I was ever on a little bit of cobbles, I was always pretending to be Johan Museu, you know? Three, four years ago, he came up to me and he's like, yeah, um, you know, my son's racing now, and like, you're his idol, you know? And I was like, that's strange, and I, I told him that story. I think different eras, they bring up different sentiments, different, uh, different reasons why they become iconic, you know? I think uh, the beauty of cycling right now is that it is advancing, but um, it does keep this traditional element to it. You know, you see iconic images of like Moser and Roubaix with, with the tricolore jersey, and uh, his kind of jersey's up, and he's, he's got his wool shorts that are held up by braces, you know? For me, that was when cycling was, it was becoming this kind of global sport in a sense. Most of the iconic memories of of the cycling of cycling across the ages come from comes from uh, those kind of years, you know. Um, there's the stories obviously we're in Tuscany now and the stories of Coppi and Bartoli, they're 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 historic, they're iconic. Um, I think that's a lot to do with the life more than actually the sport. That's all the way back. Yeah, 70 years ago now, you know. There's so much to take from everything. When Eddie Merckx was riding, he wasn't thinking, oh, you know, I've got wool shorts. You know, that, that was what habit was then. But when you look back, you know, yeah, they were pretty hard. The one thing that the majority of riders across the ears can take in common is the fact they just like riding the bike. There's ways you can push yourself on a bike that I don't think you can do in, in, in any other kind of pastime or sport. You know, when I started, it was cycling was, wasn't it, it, it was more than niche, you know? Not many people did it at all. Um, now in the UK, there's just been this kind of rise of cycling, and it's incredible to see. It's incredible to kind of feel part of that. People do it from a young age, people follow the sport. It's still seen as a working class sport, which people can relate to. And, and yeah, here in Italy, you get the old men, they come up and uh, they'll say, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that, which is, it's quite amusing. One thing you get from people who do it, they can respect what we do as professionals, you know? If people, someone doesn't ride a bike but watches it on TV, they have no idea like, how hard cycling is. Um, but it doesn't matter if you do it, even commuting to work or doing it with your family, to appreciate pushing pedals around, you can appreciate what it's like to ride three and a half thousand kilometers around France, you know? 200 guys in a bike race, not in a controlled environment. The amount of veils is, is close to infinite. If you can control the, the variables of anything, if it's in life or if it's on a bike, then things are gonna go your way. You know, if I do, it, if I do everything right, preparing for a race as much as we can, then it puts you in a better chance of, of being successful. There's quite an ongoing debate about what the future of cycling is. As a cycling fan, you don't really want to see things change. You want to see the Grand Tours as they are. You want to see the classics. You have these races that have been going for 100 years. Um, but ultimately, other sports mostly have a kind of world series that's, that's easy to follow. And I think it kind of does have to go that way. It would be what moves cycling forward.